The Los Angeles Fire Department graduated its latest class, including 49 men and three women. The recruits had to go through a rigorous 20-week training program, and one of those women graduated at the top of the class. Caroline Carpenter and Fire Chief Ralph Terrazas is here now to join us. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations, Caroline. Thank you so much. I mean, what an accomplishment. Have you always wanted to be a firefighter? Um, it wasn't a lifelong goal, I have to admit, but um, I fell in love with public safety when I started working as lifeguard out of high school in uh, Seal Beach, and a lot of my coworkers became firefighters, and they started getting me in interested in it, and um, here I am. I have to ask, <laughs> how rigorous is this 20 weeks? It, it's very demanding, physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, there's a lot that they demand from you, but it's, it all has a purpose. So. And did you have a goal, like, I'm going to be number one? You know, I, <laughs> I, I wanted to get to the end of it. I wanted to graduate. I, I wanted to have the job at the end. I wanted to get the badge. And um, I'm not one to, uh, you know, do anything halfway. So yeah. uh, that's kind you of You must be very on. proud, Chief <laughs> Terrasas. And Absolutely. How historic is this accomplishment? It is pretty historic. It's never happened before. We uh, checked, and she's the very first female to come out number one overall. She was in a class of 52 people, mm. three females, including her, and 48 males. Do you think this will encourage more women to maybe come out and be firefighters? I certainly hope so. I, you know, that's why we're here today. We want to motivate women that they can do the job, not only meet the minimum standards, but excel and come out number one. You, why do you think more women haven't joined? Is it just because of the fear of how rigorous it is? Um, honestly, I, I, w I would have to say that there are maybe women who aren't as interested. You know, there are definitely more men who have grown up wanting the job and know, see other men doing it, so they know that they can. I think they're, it might be changing now. Women know that it's possible, and they see other women doing it, but um, it's, it's hard, <laughs> so you have to be in shape. <laughs> what would you tell those young women at home that you know, were thinking about it? How would you, what would you tell them? Number one, look at Caroline. Mm -hmm. She did it. You can do it. Uh, go to our website, joinlafd.org. We're going to open for filing March 5th through June 29th. So if you're interested, look at Caroline and <laughs> submit your application. There you have it. Well, congratulations. It's absolutely wonderful what you've done. And especially in this day and age, you know, women becoming empowered, you're a really good poster child for everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, know? you so much. It's really nice. And Chief, um, congratulations on all the hard work you've done and your men and women out there have been sacrificing time and energy and um, how, how are you doing? How are you holding up after that whole fire season? Well, thank you. You know, the good news, the brush fires are out. The bad news is we're anticipating mud flow, and uh, we're very concerned about it. There's going to be heavy rain. As Danny said earlier, we're watching the weather very closely. We're prepared. I ask the public to be prepared. Watch the media for messages, and hopefully we'll get through this okay. Yeah, Chief Terrazas and Caroline, thank you so much for joining us. and look forward to hearing more stories about you. And <laughs> Really exciting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Colleen, All back right. to you. Oh, actually, let me give you the um, LA Fire Department. You can join to check out their website. That is LAFD, uh, roll up, LAFD.org if you want more information. Absolutely. Now, Colleen. <laughs> All right. Thank you both. And Chief Terraza and Caroline, great to have you in studio. Thank Way you. to go.